We've been sleeping on the floor for about two, three weeks. <laughs> We've been sleeping. We've been sleeping on this floor for about three weeks now. <laughs> We've been sleeping on the floor for quite some time now. And finally, our bed is gonna arrive tomorrow. The beds were supposed to come two weeks ago, but they didn't end up coming, so we've literally been sleeping on the floor, which has been so uncomfortable, especially with the baby and the bassinets. And I wanna make this place homey. The bedroom is where the magic happens. The magic? Yeah, like sleep, because we're parents of two now. What are you talking about? So we had air mattresses, but then our cat Lola came and she stretched her claws on it, so it popped it. So we basically refused to buy another air mattress and just wait until our bed show up. Wait, stay there. <laughs> oh! Help me. No, you put yourself in that position. Now you're stuck. So the bed is going here. I gotta move this up to the loft area. Don't judge up here, Glory made me. She made me black out the windows up top with sheets and it kind of works. Those are blackout curtains. This is so that it is dark at night. Barely works. <laughs> if any of you guys have suggestions for what to do with a weirdly shaped window, like how else are you supposed to freaking cover these windows? You don't. No, but you have to, look. You, there's no such thing as diagonal curtains. I'm pretty sure there are. No, I've <laughs> tried looking and nothing works. Where are you putting it? Right now, I'm here. The bed is coming Dad. tomorrow. What are you gonna sleep on tonight? Oh. This is you. This is all you. You stacked this here. <laughs> no, yeah, this is so Jerry wouldn't climb it. So sleeping on the ground is not good for your back. My back is in pain. I ordered a heating pad. I like it. You don't gotta show me, but I was just saying that I liked it. Yeah, because you ain't the one getting up from here to there to get the baby in the middle of the night to feed the boo. I get up to take a piss. Boo-hoo! So one of the things we have to do is make room so that once the bed comes in, there's nothing really in the way. So we're gonna clean. <laughs> so our beds came in. Okay, I'm not gonna be loud because both babies are sleeping. And my husband, Matt, is not here because last minute he got two tickets to the Ravens game. Let's go, let's go baby, let's go Raven. So I'm about to finish up this room. This is what we have so far. All right ladies, I made a TikTok about this, but I cannot be the only one. Also right now we just have piles of clothes everywhere. This is all baby clothes. Pillows on the ground, disorganized diaper caddy. <laughs> so clearly things are not the cleanest right now. If you guys have cleaning tips, especially for anyone who has kids, please let your girl know because it is hard to keep up with this mess sometimes. Especially clothes, I cannot stand folding laundry and putting it away. I just can't. Clothes will be in bags for weeks and then it'll be wrinkly. You'll get it. I fold my laundry on the ground, but look how wrinkly it is. Oh. I can't wear this. If I want to wear it, I would have to like iron it because it takes me days to unfold clothes they're just left in bags so they end up being super wrinkly like this okay so this is the comfort that we've been wanting to use but it's been dirty for so long because it says dry clean only so do people actually take things like this to the dry cleaners because i literally don't have time i don't have the will to go so we're just gonna try to put this in the wash and see what happens <laughs> So that 
really hot, so I changed my clothes and everything. Matt is still at the game. I just checked the score and it was like 20 to 23, so I'm really hoping the Ravens win for the sake of Matt having a good week. <laughs> the babies are still sleeping, which is why I'm whispering. This is crazy. They both never sleep at the same time for like two hours, which is happening. Thank you, Jesus. So yeah, this is what the room looks like so far. Yeah. 